Hey guys, it's the Tropic Thunder 13. I'm gonna do an entire playthrough of Dead Space 3. Um, um, this is gonna help you guys out with hardcore mode. Um, I will tell you right now, you're gonna want to do pure survival before. As you see, I have it complete here, and uh, you don't need to do classic. Um, you don't get anything to use. Um, obviously, beat the game. New game plus hard pure survival and then new game plus hardcore just make your slots and um yeah i don't know if you can tell or not some friends can't that i've been talking to some friends uh can but i am sick but uh today's one of my better days so thought i might as well go through and uh start playing so uh, my playthrough is not going to be on hardcore mode i have beaten it but um i'm going to start a new game and i'm going to do it on impossible mode which I think is actually harder than hardcore mode. The only thing about hardcore mode is that you just can't die. And the only reason I'm doing it on impossible mode and not hardcore mode is if I do mess up or I'm worrying about my camera and then I uh, mess up, I die and I have to redo the entire thing just to get back to where I was just so I can record more gameplay for you. So I'm going to do it on impossible mode and some things I want to, um, I might die in order to show a better run through. Um, I recorded this entire thing, I was at like chapter 6 or something, and I decided to remake it because I sounded too sick, so this is one of my better days, and I'm just showing you right here, you know, hey, this is the stuff I kind of got, I do have limited edition, I do have a Dead Space 2 save file, and I, I do have the EG900, I don't use it, so, uh, Dead Space suit just from beating the game, MK11 overclock part set, this is from Pure Survival, I'm not going to use these, this is the hand cannon, but I'm not going to use it just to keep it strictly hardcore mode style. Uh, I mean, you don't get them in uh, hardcore mode. Um, this is for when you beat hardcore mode, you get retro mode. Uh, people are wondering whether it's worth it or not. Uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, it looks great. Uh, I might show it in a certain sequence or a certain area, but... Uh, not as worth it as the hand cannon to me, because it's a weapon you can use, and it's just improves the playability all the more. So, uh, regardless, whatever, I'm going to start the game here, since it's already been almost three minutes. Uh, I'm going to turn the brightness down for you guys, although it really doesn't change anything on the, uh, camera, so. And I'm going to put it on impossible mode, because that makes it the rations that you get in uh, hardcore mode, but the actual difficulty in hardcore mode, I'm pretty sure, is hard difficulty. So I'm going to do it on impossible, just to show you, at maximum, how difficult it's going to be for you guys. And I haven't played it for a while, so it should be even uh, harder for me than it should be for you, even if you haven't played in a while or you're just gonna start it up from hardcore and you waited a day to watch the videos so on and what forth but I, I did pure survival beat it and then started hardcore mode and uh, got to chapter 3 right before the first flight sequence and then stopped for the day then I was playing with my friend in co-op on impossible mode for a couple chapters and I'm like alright he had to go so I was like, alright, I'm going to go do hardcore mode. So I went from chapter 3 to chapter 17. And then the next day is uh, where I got my Dead Space 3 beating hardcore mode video from. I just decided, hey, if I'm going to die now, I might as well get it on camera. And that's what I did. So hopefully this video does help. I mean, these cutscenes I can talk through almost no problem. But usually I'm just going to be waiting for them to start. So I got like a, at least a minute here. So, I'm going to take a quick drink, and uh, see you when the cutscene's done here. And this is live, by the way. This isn't post-commentary. I wanted to keep it to where I'm telling you exactly what's going on, what I'm thinking, and I just don't think post-commentary is going to do it for me, so... So, um, I'm trying really hard not to sniffle or anything. I want to not gross you out. Um, I'm trying to work on my commentary skills, and hopefully this playthrough will help a lot. Um, I really like watching commentators and how they can do two things at once, like concentrate on the gameplay and concentrate on keeping emotion and 
doing really good vocals and really keeping track of what they're talking about. And I think uh, doing this playthrough will really help me uh, try and uh, do both here. Um, uh, this is what I was looking for here. I was looking for this artifact. You don't need it. Uh, obviously doing the optional missions will get you all those and everything, but as I suggested in another Dead Space 3 Hardcore tip, do not do them. Um, it's kind of like uh, doing extra credit, but uh, something that can really ruin ruin your project or whatever. Uh, you know, why do something that's going to take an extra risk here? Especially if you're just wanting to get hardcore mode done just because it's hardcore mode and you want the trophy or the retro mode or just to show your friends that, hey, you've beaten it. Um, so here's coming up on my first tip. Uh, I was just wondering why it gave me six for these ammos, but I forgot in the prologue it's automatically six. So tip for these, back up as far as, no way, actually you can't because it does a cutscene. So um, first tip here, the guys with the axes. Back away, shoot him in the one one of the arms, and then go for the direct leg, same side. So like I go after the right arm and then the right leg, and it'll kill him instead of splitting him in half. And uh, that's that's where it comes in handy is trying not to make them split in half because then you're gonna waste ammo and they become faster, or they can hit you from range then. So now I'm gonna probably fail here since I have not played in a while. Even though I did play yesterday, so I'm kind of warmed up. But these guys in the prologue are crazy. But as you see here, look at that. One clip, I took both of them out. Right arm, right leg. They can't split off. They can't dash at you. Then if you go for the right arm, or that was actually left arm, but I'm talking about it from my view. And it's just easier to do it. And uh, took them out pretty quick. No damage. Now, for some reason, like basically the first bullet you put into him, and he explodes, so... Uh, there's one guy there, and then once you walk up, there's a guy around the corner and up here. And I really think actually putting commentary to this gameplay is very beneficial, because when I was doing the Dead Space 2 hardcore mode, or I had to watch videos, and the guy only posted the gameplay, but he really didn't post any tips of why he was doing so. He just said, hey, do this. And one of the time, it actually screwed me over. Now, I don't know if in the prologue, these guys are easier than they are in the actual game. I kind of feel like it is. But nonetheless, um, it's the tactic that I use seems to work both ways. But it just takes more damage, I think, in the actual playthrough. Maybe it's just the rifle you're using. But here we go. First sequence. This one's really, really easy to stay to your right um, when you're rolling. And for the actual climbing down, just stay to your left. I'll show you in a second. Now I can record almost a half hour of gameplay every time. So if it comes to a point where I'm about to do a sequence I, and I'm kind of coming up on the uh, time limit, I might just pause it and make it into a video and edit it together. Or might just uh, make it an entire new part. I don't want to make it the entire playthrough in one video. This way you can kind of pace yourselves, and, you know, do a half hour of gameplay and then stop for a while. I mean, that's what I did. Like, once I did something incredibly tough or a sequence or something, I took a 10 minute break. I'm not lying. I played guitar, I chilled out for 10 minutes, I just rocked out the tunes, I just, you know, I calmed myself down, my heart race was pacing, you know, work out, do whatever. Just do whatever it takes to calm yourself down. So here, you're just going to want to stay to the right. You don't have to roll like I did, but staying anywhere to the far right will keep you safe for that. And then uh, you got this next five minute cutscene. So, already prologue done. Uh, there's 19 chapters, so chapter one's pretty easy. Chapter two is pretty easy. I, it kind of It's kind of weird how fast chapter one and one and two go, and then some chapters are like, how have I not gotten through this chapter yet? And that's kind of how it felt with uh, 17, chapter 17, because it took a long time. And then all of a sudden, chapter 18 and 19 were like, do one thing, and then that's the chapter. So, uh, here we go. Um, I'm trying to think of any tips for uh, chapter 1. Besides, once I come up on them, 
Usually I have to give the tips as I'm coming up on them. This way you can visibly see what I'm talking about and you can also hear me. So that's why I wanted to do live commentary because once I see it I can talk about it right away and it just really helps. And I don't feel like I could do as good as a job on post commentary. And then also I have to do audio sync up and do all of that. And then maybe even audio editing. So um, I'm really not going to edit anything. And I'll tell you why. Um, if I edit something, it'll A, cause you to be confused, or B, just um, not really uh, inform you enough on how the gameplay is going to go. So I'm going to do all the benches, everything I do at a bench, I'm going to explain what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and yeah. Now, uh, I found a new gun, and... I really like it. I showed you in the fun gun tactic. It's that plasma cutter. That plasma cutter is actually one of the best guns that I like. And it's really, really powerful. So that's what I'm going to show you how to build again here. Because I was playing this yesterday, as I said, and I got to like chapter 6. And I'm on impossible mode, and it it was taking them out pretty quick. I killed Necromorphs in 2 to 5 hits, 2 to 6 hits and that's really what you want and then eventually you get the rate of fire up just so you can take them out from that much farther of a distance when you don't have rate of fires on it like what I had like ludicrous plus three rate of fires it's really not all that fast it's almost it's basically a full auto version but almost the same speed as you would if you were able to semi auto it and that's pretty much how it goes until you get plus or, uh, or plus twos, plus twos and all that. And uh, I only had a plus one rate of fire and a plus one damage and it was killing them in five hits. And it was pretty, pretty uh, powerful. So that's why I'm kind of leaning towards using that now for this playthrough. And I'm going to get the Evangelizer. I mean, I have it right now in the bench, but... I'm going to try and lean away from using it just because hey some of you guys don't have limited edition so you only get the SMG and the plasma cutter to begin with and but I mean all the DLC all the better but I mean that I just got it from pre-ordering and I'm pretty sure most of you have it anyway especially if you're gonna go for hardcore mode you know you obviously have to be a Dead Space fan so once again cutscene Surprised I haven't sniffled or any of that really. Uh, yesterday when I was doing this gameplay, I was sniffling all the time, and that's why I really wanted to redo this whole thing because it just wasn't the best it could be. And obviously this isn't either, but um, I just wanted to give it my best shot here. And uh, people always hate on me for not uh, having a capture card or uh, I think that's what it called, uh, like a Roxio game cap or HD PVR or any of that. And the reason for that is I'm just not to the point where I'm comfortable enough to commentate, video edit, and put all this production together into a video. And I feel like I would lose kind of the passion that I have for the games that I'm playing. So that's kind of why I do that. So uh, you don't need the logs or anything. I, I'll try not to get the logs, but me as a Dead Space person or a survival horror type person... I always go the opposite way of my objective just to get the extra stuff whether it be logs artifacts and all that but I mean I will show you the areas where you do get stuff and I will tell you right now I will be using most of the time my uh, what's it called the uh, tungsten torque bars and yeah because you do get weapon parts for that although I honestly won't be using them I will mainly be using my uh, oh first tip here run straight to the car just roll towards it and you won't get hit and it just ends that fight scene don't bother taking them out so that's the first tip obviously go for headshots here but uh what was I talking about before uh, so that's what I'm talking about how do commentators do that I'm just not comfortable to that point yet I actually forgot entirely what I was talking about. 
something. I'll, I'll try and remember. If I don't, I'll try and find the part in the video. Yeah, as you can see, headshots, pretty easy. Use the SMG for this part. I will say that uh, as of right now. Just use the SMG, obviously. It uh, gets the job done. Don't use the plasma cutter. That's for dismemberment. That's obviously for necromorphs. So I will probably get all the way to the train sequence and then have to stop. Because I'm already at 15 minutes and that's probably how it's going to go. Um, yeah, I completely forgot about what I was going on before. Um, not really much tips here, just grab the stuff and go. Oh yes, yes, weapon parts and tungsten and torque bars, that's what I was talking about. Um, basically all you gotta do with that, just sell the parts you get. Um, most of the time you'll find parts that'll give you like 50 tungsten sometimes. So I mean you're gaining 30 tungsten just from building that torque bar. Um, uh, I completely missed him. Can't really see that well. Um, so yeah, one guy right there and one guy on the roof there. Um, I'll try and point out where the enemies are located and how to do it. So that's a nice message. Forgot there's a guy who's gonna get run over, but yeah. Uh, you can skip this entire audio quote, just shoot it, and it'll skip that 20 second long dialogue. If you just wanted to cut yourself some time, if you're going to use your time wisely, but not completely rush. Like, you know, you're going to take your time at the bench, you're going to take your time when you're going into battle, and you're going to take your time whatsoever. And I'm going to get every resource possible, all the ammo I can just because you're gonna need it and it just helps you because it saves your resources for something better like upgrading like this way you don't have to waste your uh, scrap metal building ammo or building med packs you'll get a couple to begin with uh, not really much to find here that I think there's four uh, little things here med pack ammo so yeah you get three things of ammo each time you pick up an ammo so pretty scarce and there's 20 to a slot so as you can see starting to build up ammo starting to build up med packs although they're small you're gonna work your way up to mediums don't try and spam building mediums and larges right away they'll come naturally you know as the game goes on you'll eventually use the small med packs you have right away or sell them to build a medium and once again here we come up on a cutscene and I easily have enough time to record the part that comes after this cutscene um, yesterday I was recording and I ran out of battery so hopefully none of that happens if I do I'll just start where I was uh, I actually had to restart an entire chapter just to explain what I was doing and stuff and also my battery ran out that day, yesterday, and I had to go back and do it again. So, hopefully that doesn't happen, and I, uh, another thing is, if you know there's going to be a cutscene, you don't use your med packs if you're lower, halfway, because obviously, as you saw there, I use a small med pack, I don't get that med pack back, and it, and with some of these cutscenes, you get to red health, and you just want to kind of strategize. This one, you get to orange health, um... Then you, can, you pick up med packs though, so I mean that's good. So you do actually can make a gain, I guess. But with the cutscenes, you know, you can pretty much waste two or three med packs right uh, right away. Uh, the other one is like the shuttle one, when you gotta go down to Talvolantis. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, cutscenes actually pretty long here, and miss the shot, buddy. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. Pretty much just waiting on this cutscene to end here, so. 
I mean, I I wasted a small med pack there, but I do gain two medium med packs, so it's a pretty good trade off. Even though I did waste the med pack, and uh, going through the city on chapter one, you're gonna get a lot of stuff. You're gonna get a lot of ammo. You're gonna get a lot of things. So I'm actually gonna hit select and use my small ones instead, because I just want to get rid of them. This is where the plasma cutter, uh, actually. These guys, I really like using the SMG because it kind of, as in the prologue, you can shoot them pretty directly into the arm and then into the leg. So, why haven't they come in yet? Hello? There, oh! Not the best time to run up. Oh, yeah. Oh, stasis. Oh, he trapped me in the corner. Delicious. So, that's my first time being hit. And I'm pretty sure it's like almost chapter 2, so not too bad. But as you see there, I kind of like using it, the SMG for these guys, just because take off one of their arms, take off one of their legs, you're done. And as you saw there, it works pretty well. Now pick up the resources and go. Uh, obviously, stomp tutorial, med packs. Luckily, I'm getting a lot of med packs, so hopefully, you get the same. Um, there's like three guys there, as you see one of them's playing dead. There's one guy playing dead here. I'd take this guy out first. I'm gonna actually shoot him in the arm first. Uh, if you go for the stasis, he will pop up anyway. And your stasis at this point is useless, so... So yeah, took him out pretty easy. Even with this underpowered SMG. Um, so, that's another thing to keep in mind. I'm actually figuring this stuff out as I'm playing through it. So it'll be a learning experience for both of us. Hooray. You learn more on YouTube than you learn in school, eh? I'm going to try shooting at the leg first. Just to show you that you're not going to want to do it. See? As you see, he turned into one of these fast guys. And I'm pretty much spraying for my life right now. Because they don't die once they split in half. So I'm going to run over here. Luckily, these guys aren't running, running. So... Arms leg gone arm leg gone so that's a pretty easy exploitation if you ask me just figured that out yesterday that would have helped me a lot in hardcore mode once again loot and loot and shoot how about that and we're coming up near the end of my recording time once I get down to the train, I'll uh, pause it, and then uh, we'll be back. Uh, it should be one, maybe two videos a chapter, and they should be all about this length, unless I added them into uh, one part per chapter, and uh, we'll see from there. But chapter one is pretty much all cutscenes, so kind of really can't do that. So, uh, yeah, this next battle is... Uh, we're going to start part two, because this is where things start to get serious here. Because they combine the guys with the fodder axes and normal necromorphs. And uh, they pretty much try and gang rape you, if you ask me. Um, so I'll see you in uh, the next part here. Uh, and uh, that's where I'm going to start it, right here. So, see you when you click the next video.